First season, the charge down into the first hairpin and three abreast, Kelvin van der Linde down the inside of Lawson. Wow, I haven't seen someone miss a breaking point by this much since Dylan James GP joined my open lobby in Bahrain. But on a real here, what the f*** happened here? And why does everyone hate a 25-year-old South African bloke? So if you've been wasting your life on Twitter this weekend like most F1 fans usually do, then you probably saw all this stuff about Liam Lawson losing the DTM championship because Kelvin van der Linde got his left and right pedals mixed up. I guess you could say that our respect for Mr. Linde has reached absolute zero. DTM generally isn't the most contact-free form of motorsport, and anyone who's watched one of its races will know that. But even so, you're not supposed to use other cars as the brakes when you miss your braking point. It's not Forza Horizon 4 anymore. But that's enough waffling. Let's discuss. Okay, so firstly, let's address the biggest question about this incident. Was it deliberate? I mean, I don't really know. Only Captain Celsius will ever know if he deliberately caused the crash, but if you ask me, it just looked like a racing driver who was trying to do racing really f***ing badly. Something that is swaying me in the direction of it being deliberate, however, is the way in which VDL's car was decelerating. Or rather, not decelerating. As well as this, he literally steered straight into Liam instead of just attempting to make the corner. Again, I don't want to make assumptions about something I don't know is true, but let me just remind you that this was the DTM championship at stake, and Liam was on the cusp of winning it. That said, things like this do happen in racing, like for example when Lance Stroll missed his breaking point into turn 1 of Hungary and saw it as the lesser of two evils to hit just the one car. Not to mention, Van der Lunge got damage as well, before his race was properly ended with a puncture that he got from crashing into another car, so it wasn't like he profited off the move. Ultimately, the only person who profited from it was Maximilian Gotts, who literally burgled the championship from poor old Liam. Now, that's not to say that Gotts didn't drive a good season to get himself into a position where he could profit, but even so, that championship belonged to Liam in my mind. Now, is finishing second rather than first in the DTM championship going to genuinely hamper Liam's efforts to get to Formula 1? Probably not as far as Red Bull are concerned, but in terms of his super license, he's scored 16 points rather than 20, which has the potential to affect him, but realistically, it probably won't. Regardless of whether or not this championship was crucial to Liam though, it doesn't take away from the fact that a 5 second penalty for Kelvin van der Linde was nowhere near sufficient. The guy literally violated all of Liam's championship hopes and got away with it with nothing more than a slap on the wrist. As per usual, the angry Twitter people went over to Instagram to verbally abuse van der Linde, but that was quickly halted when he turned off the comment to the post he put up. Oh, and speaking of that post, something that left a really sour taste in the mouth was the fact that Kelvin literally acted like nothing out of the ordinary had happened in the race. There was no form of public apology to Liam, although it should be mentioned that we don't know if he privately apologised. In fact, he literally went out of his way to say that the right guy won, as if Liam wasn't on track to win the championship. I know league racers who have more decency than Kelvin does, and that's saying something. However, I feel it should be mentioned that Kelvin should not have had to turn off the comments on his Instagram earlier, just because everyone and their mum was hurling abuse at him. Sure, he absolutely bodied Liam Lawson, but we still don't know for sure if it was deliberate, and everyone makes mistakes. This one just happened to have monumental consequences. Did he deserve all the backlash he got on social media? Again, this one depends on whether or not the incident was deliberate. If he'd literally straight lined the corner in order to take Lawson out, then for sure he would have done. But he didn't, so the fact is we don't need random fans teaching Kelvin what's right and wrong. No doubt he's aware he's wrong, and ultimately it's up to the FIA to do the teaching bit. Finally, let's spare a thought for Maximilian Gotts. He's finally achieved his dream of winning the DTM championship, but this one will forever be remembered as the one he didn't deserve. I hope for his sake that he goes on to win another championship, and that, come the final round, some random South African guy actually remembers how the brakes work. Maximilian may not have been the rightful winner of the championship in the eyes of many, but he still did everything he could have done in the races leading up to yesterday in order to give himself the best chance, one which he took with both hands. So, was Kelvin in the wrong here? Yes, absolutely. Was a 5 second penalty enough? No. Will this race be remembered as one of the biggest farces in DTM's history? Quite probably. Should you subscribe to my channel? Yes.